major and I'm from Preston, Georgia. I'm also a communications major and I'm from Fitzgerald, Georgia. And today we are going to do the thrift store challenge. If you've never heard of it, it's where two people go to a thrift store and we have a budget of $10 and we have to pick out an uh, outfit for the other one. But this time we're doing a little bit of a twist. We're trying to recreate an outfit that we think the other would have worn during high school. So we're going to start out by asking each other a couple questions to get a better idea of what we were like in high school. What clubs were you in in high school? Um, I did yearbook my senior year. I was in Spanish club for two years, I think. Um, I was in FFA for three years. I think I did FBLA for one year. Um, I was in beta club. Drama for three years. Um, I was in FCCLA for a year or two. I can't really remember. We didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> I did yearbook for two years. I played soccer all four years, if that counts. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a sport, but you know. activities. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, I was our student body treasurer for my freshman and sophomore year. What were some of your hobbies when you were in high school? Um, uh, I guess like photography and video stuff still. Um, when I got my first like, digital camera, and it was like this little tiny pink camera, <laughs> and um, I would just go around the yard and like take pictures of the flowers and the trees and stuff. Um, it looked kind of like in the country, there's nothing to take pictures of. Um, and also kind of like crafty stuff, um, like paper crafts and scrapbooking and things like that. So, uh, what were your hobbies in high school? Um, <laughs> I forgot all of them. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I started cross-stitching when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy cross-stitching. It's one of my grandma traits. Is that I cross-stitch. Uh, also crochet. Mm -hmm. So there's that too. So where did you buy most of your clothes from in high school? Um, mostly from the school. <laughs> It was a bunch of like homecoming t-shirts. Uh, I bought t-shirts at like every cheerleading competition that I went to to like watch. Uh, we always had soccer t-shirts, football t-shirts. And my mom actually owns a t-shirt company where she makes them at our house with vinyl. So pretty much whatever I wanted, I could just go in there and make, so yeah. So what bands did you listen to in high school? Um, I, I think I listened to a lot of my fly. High school, I was kind of finding my own music and listening to a lot of like weird British stuff and Australian <laughs> stuff and um, mostly like indie rock though. Okay. Yeah. What kind of bands did you listen to in high school? Well, my freshman year, I went through a very embarrassing phase of listening to almost nothing but Blood on the Dance Floor. <laughs> if you've ever heard of them, they're they're something. <laughs> Uh, I listened to a lot of like Guns N' Roses and Motley Crue and a lot of rap also, whatever the popular rap was. I remember mm -hmm. when Black and Yellow came out, that was Khalifa song. Yeah. Because my high school colors, well my first high school colors were uh, gold and black, so we played it like every sporting event, so I listened to that yeah. for like four years. <laughs> and I don't know, just a lot of indie rock and, I don't listen to indie rock, I said it because you said it. <laughs> 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 I would say just a lot of classic rock and mm -hmm. just random music, really random <laughs> stuff. And now that we've learned a little bit about each other, we're gonna go shopping. Let's see what we can find. Yep. And there's Javon. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm looking for at all. Um. She said that she took home ec and that she crochets, so I'm thinking maybe some grandma chic style. But I feel like just knowing her now, she might would have also done like graphic tee emo stuff. So we're gonna go for some kind of mixture of that. Sydney did FBLA, so I'm thinking something kind of business. I'm trying to find like business pants. <laughs> Trying to figure out. 
there a price tag on any of these? <laughs> I don't know. There's more. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Is that snake skin? That's it's sequin snake skin. Wow. Is that even possible? I don't even know how. Oh. Look those too. Those are also very retro. Uh, oh wait, there's like patterned ones. Maybe I can find like palazzo pants because those are more casual. <laughs> I think we hit a jackpot. <laughs> oh, those are never gonna fit her. <laughs> Moving on. Those have some nice bedazzled bottoms. Yeah, they have a flower. Yeah. I feel like those are, well, those are probably maternity pants, but that's very, like, 2000s. Oh, wait, what if we did a tie? Give her a tie to go with it? Yeah. Like, if we can find one that has some pink on it. This has a little pink, but that's a flower. That's like, <laughs> no. That's oh. striped. FBLA in the house. I think we've got it. So I just checked out, and I only spent $6.33, which actually isn't that bad. I thought I was going to go over. Yeah. And in budget, so we can prove it. Yep. Yeah, proven. Hey guys, we're back, and these are what we made up. I chose Sydney's outfit because she said she did FFA and FBLA, and both of those groups have to dress kind of businessy. So yeah. I wanted to go businessy, but I also feel like Sydney can pull off a very androgynous look. So I wanted to go somewhat masculine with the tie. It's very Avril Lavigne, mm -hmm. which was not intentional, but I like it. <laughs> and the belt just adds a pop of girly color. And I love those pants. Just, I like the beach. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice they're like um, sandals. Sandals. Yeah. It's a grandma pants. Yes! <laughs> this is Lily's outfit. Um, I chose, I think the first thing I picked out was a sweater um, because she says she crochets, so I was going for like a grandma chic kind of vibe. <laughs> so I was like a nice, like knit, chunky sweater. It also has shoulder pads, they're nice. They're really um, good. <laughs> and then I wasn't sure about bottoms, so I just went with a skirt because um, it matches. I had a monochrome thing going on. Um, and then I also threw in a hat because she said she did sports, so that's a little sporty touch. She gets a cap. And it also matches very well. Um, Everything is just pulled together. And I bought a pillowcase because it was like 69 cents. And I was going to do an ascot, like a blue ascot, but I was like, nah, that's too much. So I just did a little bracelet thing. You know, back in like 2010, 2009, everybody had like a stacked bracelet. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. 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 <laughs>